so we don't need to use the weapon bench yet. What did I just pick up? Oh, a model. We can own fish in this game too, but I don't think I will. Or at least I'll save that for later, because I really need money early on to upgrade weapons, I think. You can buy a fish, and you can buy a, an aquarium VI, so you don't have to feed your own fish. So that they don't die if, on accident. But uh, we're not going to do that for now. I'm just looking around for more model ships. I guess I picked up all of them? Doesn't feel like it, does it? Alright, James Vega. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> <laughs> I'm looking down. <laughs> I don't need a reason. Hold on. Um. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't really want to hit on him. Maybe, hold on. Let me just try that, just for, just for fun. I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <laughs> <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yes. Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. Still on my good looks, fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? No. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. Yes. So there's, there's James Vega. I've learned a little bit about him. Oh hey, more model ships. Check it out. So I just punched him with my wimpy little girl arms. I don't know how that works. And I think the Renegade 
options were to sucker punch him when he's not, you know, ready. Which I don't really want to do that for. Um, right. So, his story is... He lost his entire squad on... Oh, uh, wait, did he say what planet it was? Horizon? Was it Horizon? Probably Horizon. And, uh, everybody died except him. And he chose to get the intel instead of saving a squad. Yeah, serious business. Alright, so that's James Vega. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, right, so let's go up to our own quarters. Yeah, so we still have the fish tank. And uh, I'm not gonna deal with the fish, at least not yet. So there's all the model ships. I don't think I've picked up all of them, actually. There's a space hamster here. Yeah, look at that thing. Look at that other space hamster. Look at him. So we can buy more ships too, but we don't. We're not gonna do that just yet. Uh, squad change appearances. Actually, can I cycle appearance? I can. It's actually... Oh wait, here we go. Power recharge speed plus 25%. Power damage plus 25%. Power recharge speed 25%. I don't know if I want to do recharge or damage. Um, damage? Oh, let's go with damage. So he's got a shield plus 25. Or weapon damage plus 25. Or weapon damage plus 25. Alright, I'm going to go with that one. Weapon damage plus 25. And uh, what else do we have up here? We've got... well, nothing yet. Sound system I'm not going to play with. Armor locker we've already played with downstairs. I feel like I'm missing a few model ships. Maybe I should... never mind, let's not do that right now. Alright, so that's the whole ship. And we've talked to everybody. So the first thing I want to do is go to Eden Prime. And do that mission. Actually... Oh, specialist trainer. Did we talk to her? Commander, come to check on your new. No, we didn't. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna get into some pretty serious business on the ship. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. Probably. London? Yeah, probably. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on Not us. Not London. Quite true, Commander. 
Carry on, specialist. So that's specialist trainer. She's kind of cute. Uh, what else do we have? Yep. All right. Nothing else. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to Eden Prime because there's a mission there. Well, let me just conquered systems. Oh, there's this stuff. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the normally stealth drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Um, yeah, so there's giant robot cuttlefish on the map. Recover protein artifact, rescue Turian Primark. There's a mission here too, Cerberus Lab. Alright, so there's some optional missions and then there's the main missions. And you can also kind of search the, the clusters for stuff. Anyway, let's just go straight to the Exodus cluster. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Uses to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed the mission before returning. So when you complete a mission, you reset the, the alertness of the Reapers. So what we can... well never mind that. So what we want to do is, I think we're going to scan this whole... cluster. Alright, I think the cluster is only two stars actually. So I'm going to fly around and I'm going to search the cluster for loot. So what you do is you I found scan like that. And you see the Reaper alertness. Every time you, you ping, you alert the Reapers. And if that bar reaches full, then they all start attacking you. Then you have to run away or you lose the game. Uh, there's no resources in this game. You just pick up stuff. Alright, Remains of Reaper Destroyer. Great. So the... Oh, 20% recovered, that's not very much. So the, uh... The, the, you know, the resource gathering from the second game is gone. And it's replaced with just this ping on the map and then just digging it up, which is fairly simple. So a lot less tedious than in the last game. So you can find stuff in space and on planets, and apparently I only picked up 3 out of 5 things. So that happens. And the Reapers start attacking you. I'm gonna leave orbit, I don't know if I should... Oh, it's here. Enter orbit. I think that was a mistake, because I don't think I can get away anymore. Let me just quickly pick this up, and then try to run away. Alright, so we picked up everything there, and... and amazing. Amazing, we still got away. Alright, so we picked up all sorts of stuff over in Asgard. So let's come back to Utopia, and scan this. So the so now that that thing is 100% you know scanned, we don't have to go back there anymore ever. So the sequence in which you do these things is kind of important. Well, there's nothing there. In fact, the reapers the reapers aren't going to come here at all, so we don't even need to worry about them. So on the on the on the, on the stars where there are actual missions, you don't have to worry about the the reapers detecting you. The data files. So as you can see, we we get these war assets. And this is probably fuel. Yep, 200 units of fuel, which is great. All right, so we're not actually going to land. So as you can see, it tells you 100% assets recovered. So we don't have to scan anything else on this system. So we're not going to go to Eden Prime just yet. Let me go down to Liara's office. and uh, get that upgrade thing because we picked up uh, a thing that we can use to upgrade Dr. Tassoni found useful information in yes remains of a reaper destroyer 
to avoid the risk of indoctrination, remote drones have been sent to study the salvage remains of a Reaper destroyer. Alright, open. Store discount bonus, 5%. Power cooldown bonus. Or oh, power recharge speed, 5%. I don't... We don't actually need a store discount bonus. Anyway, because we get... We get infinite money. Like, one of the DLCs allows you to, the opportunity to get infinite money. It just takes a lot of time. So we don't actually need discounts at all. But a power cooldown is probably better. Because... Yeah, so the Citadel DLC has the opportunity for you to get infinite money in this game. But it does take time. So we don't actually need discounts. Um, right, so I'm gonna take a break here, because we've spent quite a bit of time walking around the ship already. When we come back, we do the uh, Eden Prime mission. Let me just save that there, and I'll see you guys in the next video.